Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I've got a steel BR450C that's come in the shop. It doesn't want to start. It doesn't even sputter when you try to start it. As you can see, the machine is like brand new. Now, because this thing is in immaculate condition, I hope that it's not something catastrophic. The machine's barely, barely been used. Now, this is the model with the electric start and it also has the pull cord. Let's give it a pull. The winding noise you hear there is the electric start feature, even though I'm not using it. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on with that electric start noise. If you want to use the electric start, you just grab the switch here, push it in or backwards. So let's try it with the electric start here first. I'll put the choke on. Push this down and nothing's happening. And that doesn't sound good by the way. So you know what, let's check the fuel first. And usually checking the fuel will tell you something about what's happened. Now the fuel looks pretty clear, but let's make sure it's not moto mix. It definitely isn't moto mix by the smell of it. And the fuel is nice and clear. So definitely that's probably what's happened is they forgot to put oil in the fuel. So since that the case, it should be an easy diagnosis guys. I'm going to basically take the covers off and take the muffler off and we're going to look inside the cylinder. All right, so I'll grab my impact with my T27 Torx. You have to take the whole cover off here to access the muffler. Now there's a few screws at the bottom, I believe. Now this should all come off. There we go. Here's what the inside of the recoil looks like. It's got the motor in there for the electric starter. And you can see this whole machine here looks brand new. Even the spark plug looks new. So apparently it hasn't even been used for one hour. Now let's get that muffler off just to confirm my suspicion. And again, there's three Torx T27 screws. And let's have a look and for sure it's confirmed here guys. Piston and rings and the cylinder are all scored and quite badly. And it comes as no surprise after seeing that fuel with no oil in it. And have a look at that. That looks pretty bad. All for one simple mistake of not mixing the fuel properly with oil. And the sad part of this, guys, is that the manufacturer has priced out the repair parts so high that it's not worth fixing for the average customer. So even if you were going to do it yourself, the cost of the whole top end cylinder, piston and rings is so expensive that even if you know how to do it, it's just not worth it. At least here in Canada, it's not. So I called the dealer and they priced me the cylinder kit here until like three, four hundred bucks. For me, it's not worth it and especially not for the customer because if they can't do it themselves, they're just going to get an extra cost for the repair and the parts and also the risk you're taking by trying to fix a machine that's had no oil in the gas like this is that there could be other parts above and beyond the cylinder kit that are damaged. For example, some of the bearings in the bottom crank could be damaged as well and you may not notice immediately. But if the manufacturers would make the repair parts a lot more affordable so that less stuff ends up in the landfill, everybody would be much happier. And in my opinion, I don't understand why they do that. I do in a way because if you don't fix it, then you're probably going to buy another unit. It keeps all the factories going. But for the poor homeowner, this makes no financial sense whatsoever. 
So the lesson of today's video guys is always double check and make sure you have a proper fuel and oil mix in your gas tank. If you lend your equipment to somebody, lend them out your gas that's pre-mixed as well, then you're sure nothing will come back burned out like this. But anyway, it's quite a shame that this machine is blown up like this because it is the BR450C with the electric starter, which is really, really nice because you could start it with the machine on your back just by your using your thumb here on the handle. So that was an awesome feature. Maybe I'll come across another un unit like this in the shop and I'll be able to repair it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to leave it in one piece like this in case I come across another one. I have not seen any aftermarket uh, cylinder kits for this machine at all. If you know of any, just comment below the video and I'll check that out. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Always make sure you've got the proper oil and fuel mix. If you don't use your machine that much, it might be easier to just buy the still moto mix in a can. This is fuel that is already mixed with the proper oil ratio in it. And once you open up the can, it's good for two years. So again, guys, I hope this video has helped you in your future diagnoses of two cycle equipment. First thing to check when a machine comes in is basically pull it over to see how the compression feels, check the fuel, then take the muffler off to see the condition of the piston and rings. That's going to tell you a whole lot about the machine. Thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to subscribe and that you're following me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and have a great day.